Unit 1 Study Guide, Concept 3, Numbers 31, 32, and 33. So in these, we're going to evaluate each of the expression using just what we've been given, that a equals 3, b equals a fourth, and c equals negative 5. So we will just simply substitute in those numbers for the var these variables. So a is 3, so this becomes 2 times 3 rather than a. And c is negative 5, so this because, becomes 7 times negative 5. So we'll do multiplication first, and then subtract. 6 minus 35 is negative 29. Number 32, we'll substitute in 1 fourth for b minus 3. I can think of this as 5 over 1, so I'm going to multiply numerators together and denominators. So I'll get 5 fourths minus, I'm going to turn this into a fraction. Now when you subtract fractions, we need to get a common denominator. So we can use fourths. 3 times 4 is 12. And now I can just subtract my numerators. 5 minus 12 is negative 7 fourths. And then on number 33, we've got a rectangle with a length of 2x plus 5. Let's switch colors. So I'll just write that on my rectangle. And then a width of 9. What is the rectangle's perimeter? And then what is the area? So remember in that earlier problem with perimeter, it's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So 2 times, and I'll put in my expression for length, plus 2 times 9. And now to simplify that, we just do the math. So we're going to distribute and get 4x plus 10 plus 18, so 4x plus 28. So I'll just put a p equals, that's the expression for perimeter. And then area of a rectangle, remember we're going to take length times width. So I'm going to put my width first, and then my length. I'll distribute. 9 times 2 is 18x, 9 times 5 is 45. And that is in our expression for area.